I don't know when the last time dogs actually were used here. And then we're just trying to keep this, keep this alive and keep this going for the younger one. As we're moving along, um, there'll be probably spectators here that'll be able to see us across from the lake here. And then we'll come across again south and then finish at home. And there's our finishing line right there. Don't be shy to like ask them questions, talk to them and say, hey, I'm Trevor. Uh, this is my first time here. I actually have a little bit of nervous need to like hearing the race is coming, you know. Try to not think of it as a race. It's just us, the three of us, going out for a fun run. My name is Felipe Gomez. I am a new Canadian originally from Chile and I love exploring Canada with my camera. Today, I am at Ministiquan Lake Tree Nation in Northern Saskatchewan for a unique opportunity to film three inspiring mushers. Dr. Kevin Lewis is a land-based educator and a sport enthusiast. Gerish Mead is one of Saskatchewan's most competitive mushers, lead for his dogs and the rush he gets from the races. There is an exciting energy around rookies. Today is Trevor Kikatoway's first race. All eyes are on him and his dogs. As soon as we got to the starting line, I've never seen all of my dogs that hyped up before. It was awesome. This race is no walk in the park. Mushers must traverse a ragged 30 mile course while carefully monitoring the dog's speed and energy level. Today's deep snow conditions, frozen rain, and limited visibility add an extra layer of complexity to the competition. What I'm worried about is uh, maybe a trail could look like the actual dog trail itself, and it could be a skidoo trail. So hopefully it doesn't veer off too far. Right now, this driver. Oh, good. We're good. Right on. An hour into the race, Trevor finds himself in the lead position, while Kevin and Gary trail behind. But problems arise. I have to get off and hook every dog, hold every dog. It's a lot of work, but it, uh, we got it done. I was really telling my dogs to, you know, go, go ahead, straight up, straight up, you know. And then after that, my dogs, they were just, like, no, we're going to stay at this pace. We're two hours into the race. The visibility is really low right now. All the mushers are trying to stay together to so not get lost in the tracks. But there's automobiles all taking care of each other. This is what I love about this. It's about community. You can see them. If somebody got a problem, they all stop. They all help each other. It's beautiful to see. My dogs veered to the right and wanted to follow the skidoo trail. And then, uh, and then I got onto the actual trail, but I was going counterclockwise where I was supposed to go in clockwise. As a consequence, Kevin is out of the race, but his mission is bigger than that. And it's the cultural link is important to me because toboggan, tapagan is how what we call it in Cree. And the wolf and Wisagitag were the ones that traveled like that all over the world. Those type of stories, I want to pass on to Garrick and Trevor. Similar conditions push Trevor to leave the race as well. I felt pretty defeated. I really wanted to stay. I had lots of fun and it was a really good experience out there. After a hard pumping two hours and 39 minutes, Gary Schmidt is the only one of this group of friends to compete in the event. Today's race marks Trevor's initiation into the exciting world of mushing. Trevor's first race, he did amazing, you know, and he was probably thinking like, okay, this is probably something maybe I can do differently. He's um, gonna ponder this first race for a long time. 